Hello Taurus, my name is Sarah and this is Sand and Sea Tarot. This is your love messages from your person tarot reading and this is for your sun, moon, rising and Venus. So if something doesn't fit, just leave it. I encourage you to check out your other placements and to see if maybe one of those videos fits you a little better. If not, that's okay. Just leave it as well. Um, there is going to be an extended to this reading and to have access to the extended, you'll have to click the join button down below. And, um, if you, that doesn't work, then in the description box will be a link to the channel membership where the extendeds are and it's $9.99 per month and you will have full access to all extended readings for one month. Okay. So first we're going to start off with pulling two Oracle cards here from the evolution Oracle deck by serendipity tarot LLC. And then we'll pull a romance angels card. Then we will dive into the tarot and we're going to look at the current situation from your person's point of view. And then I'll pull a card for their current feelings towards you followed by three love messages from your person. And these will be very like specific love messages to you. It's like what they want to tell you right now. So let's start with the evolution. This is an Oracle card that is like situations and I have found it to be pretty accurate. I've used it on myself the last few days and it's been pretty accurate. So let's see what's going on with you, Taurus. We had trauma jump out. So this says past life influences and emotional triggers, healing and recovery, unprocessed hurt and pain, scars and unhealed wounds. So these cards can be either something that you're dealing with or something your person is dealing with. So let's go on to your second card here. What else for Taurus? That was way too many. One more for Taurus, please. Okay, we have gossip. Rumors and casual conversations, talk around town, spread of embarrassing and false information. So we have trauma and some drama here with the gossip. Next, I'm gonna be pulling a romance angel card here. Okay, so this is a message from your angels. Something about this situation. What's going on with Taurus in their situation? One card, please. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Somebody had this earlier in their reading. I don't remember who it was. Maybe Capricorn. Hmm. Actually, let's put you back there. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna dive into the tarot here. And we're gonna look at the current situation from your person's point of view. Show me the current situation from Taurus's person's point of view. How does this person view the current situation? Show me how they see this current situation right now. What's going on with this person? Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Sun. Three of Wands. Judgment. Five of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. And the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords. The Page of Pentacles here, this is definitely indicating that this person is going to message you. So if you haven't heard from this person in a while, this person is going to message you. 
Um, I think that when they do message you, it's going to be about something that is more, it's going to be something meaningful because it's some kind of material offer. So I feel like this person could be wanting to progress things to the next level. Um, I'm not sure if this is a breakup that you have gone through or if you're just not speaking to this person currently, but I do feel like this is the energy of someone that wants to take things to the next level and they're going to message you you know, about that. We have the sun card here. So this person is very hopeful. Um, they're actually, they're in a really good place where they're being very optimistic about this connection. Um, there's been some healing that's been going on with this person. They have a lot of renewed hope and a lot of faith in this connection that things are going to mend and come back together. Three of Wands here, this tells me that there is some kind of expectation. Uh, this person is either expecting you to contact them or this could be the expectation that things are going to mend, that you're going to come back together um, since they are very hopeful. It's right next to the Sun card. So I feel like this person just expects that things are going to happen, things are going to... So this is... The Three of Wands is also a card about... Um, like waiting for your manifestation to come. So I feel like if this person, you know, is trying to manifest you in, they believe that it's a done deal, that you're going to come back in, things are going to work out, they're going to get their wish fulfilled. I have the judgment card here. This is about reconciliation. Um, this person does want to reconcile this relationship. They want to awaken this relationship. Maybe they felt like it's been very dormant for a long time. There hasn't been any movement. It's been very stagnant. So this person kind of wants to rewake this relationship. And it's right under the page of pentacles. So that does make me think for sure that this person coming in to message you, that it could be about reconciliation. I mean, obviously it would have to be if their motive here would be to take things to the next level. So it definitely is going to be a message about reconciliation. That might be the first message that they have. Um, this, this could also be an apology, the judgment card, because this person wants to make things right. They want to reconcile. So in order to reconcile, there might need to be an apology. So you could be expecting an apology from your person. And we have the five of swords here. So five of swords, this is about conflict. This is about an unfair fight. This could have been an unfair argument. This person could feel like maybe they went a little too far in a conversation that you had and now they realize how much they hurt your feelings. They're having some regret. Um, and they're looking here, this person is looking here at the judgment card. So let me just show you a little bit close up here because I do go by direction here. So we have this person in the Five of Swords is looking at this judgment card. So that tells me your person is reflecting back over here and this is truly what they want is reconciliation and that's why I think you're gonna get an apology because this person is having regret here and they wanna reconcile and they know that the only way that they can reconcile is owning up for what they did wrong. So I do believe you are gonna be getting an apology from this person. We have the Nine of Pentacles here. Um, so this could be indicating that your person feels like you may be no longer interested in them, um, possibly that you have moved on, that you're just, they feel like maybe you're just enjoying life as it is. Maybe they think that you're enjoying life without them, that you've moved on, that you're happy, you don't need anyone. They also could see you as being very independent. We have the Ten of Swords here. This is the card that's at the bottom of the deck. And for me as a reader, this is one of the most important cards in this reading. This is the underlying energy for this situation. So you may not know what's going on with this person because I feel like maybe there's some silence here. Your person has probably stepped back or maybe you have stepped back, Taurus. This person is heartbroken. The Ten of Swords, this is about being exhausted, defeated, feeling like you have nothing left, feeling, feeling as though you're hopeless, um, kind of that feeling like, why live anymore? Everything that I wanted has now been taken away from me. It's this feeling of like wanting to give up. So I feel like it could be, even though your person is expecting things to work out, they could, in the weeks coming up, they could have this energy of feeling like, 
well, maybe I should give up on this. Maybe it's not worth trying to have this hope, you know, this hope here and an expectation that things are going to work out because, you know, I'm not seeing any movement here and perhaps Taurus has moved on. So this is their underlying, this is kind of like their subconscious thoughts. You can even look at it that way. Um, or it's something that's going to be revealed to them in the next couple of weeks. So they could have a feeling of like wanting to give up on this connection. So remember how we said, how I said here, we had the five of swords, which is about maybe your person feels like they hit below the belt, uh, that they treated you unfairly. I think that is what we have here with this gossip card. Rumors and casual conversations, talk around town, spread of embarrassing and false information. It's very possible that this person not only said things about you to you that were below the belt, but maybe they said this to, maybe they said something to one of your friends or talked about you not in the best light towards one of their friends. I feel like, you know, they could have, they could have gone over the line. They could have just done something that was not like them ordinarily. It's not something that they would have done, but they did it because they were hurt or whatever. And, you know, obviously there is some regret that they're having there. Um, we had this trauma card here. And one of the things that this card does indicate is that there's healing and recovery. And I feel like that's the energy of this person, especially with the sun card, because um, the sun card is about healing. So I do feel like your person is working on healing themselves. Um, Obviously, they would have to do some healing before they would even recognize this pain and hurt that they have caused you here with the Five of Swords. Um, and I just want to show you that right below this Ten of Swords, we have the High Priestess. So this is someone that is listening to their intuition, but this could also be someone that's a little bit secret. And what that means is it's, they're not revealing something. They're not revealing um, emotions. That's what I tend to think about when I see the high priestess, that someone is bottling up their emotions. They're hiding their emotions. They're not quite ready to let you know how they are truly feeling. So I do feel like this is the energy of your person too, that they are hiding some of their feelings here, which makes me think that even if they do reach out with this, with the page of pentacles energy here, that it's not going to be with this great thing about, Oh, I love you. You're the only person for me. Um, I can't stop thinking about, well, they could say, I can't stop thinking about you, but I don't think they're going to pour out their heart. Like, Oh, I love you. I've always loved you. I don't think that's going to be their opening message. I do think it's going to be an apology that they open up with. Um, we also have the four of pentacles here. So again, I mean, this is just below the high priestess. So the high priestess again is about secrecy. She's a little mysterious. She's not letting a lot of emotion out. She's not revealing a lot of emotion. This four of pentacles is also about someone that's holding back. And usually it does mean holding back on their emotions. They're holding back from letting someone in fully. So I do feel like this is also the energy of a person, but we do have the knight of cups just under that. So again, this is double confirmation that an apology is coming your way because the knight of cups for me, he's about an apology. He's bringing his cup to offer you his love. Um, he's very romantic. He's going to do some kind of gesture to win you back. And I say he, but this is gender neutral. So it could be, your person could be a woman just saying he, cause I'm referencing the, the knight of cups. So just to let you know, the sun is a Leo. The judgment card could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. Um, if we look at the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups is a Pisces. So those are some signs that you could be dealing with. Oh, and the High Priestess is Cancer. So let's see how this person is feeling towards you right now. One card. How does this person feel towards Taurus right now? One card. We have the Knight of Wands. So this person is feeling very passionate about you. There's a lot of excitement when they think about you. This person is also very, very attracted to you, sexually attracted to you. They feel like there's a lot of chemistry. This, this Knight is very action-based. Um, the only negative side about this Knight is that he's very flighty, meaning he usually is non-committal. Um, but I do feel like 
he's not going to be running, charging in and then charging back out. I don't feel this is the energy of a one night stand. I just feel like this means that this person is going to be coming back in pretty quickly here with a lot of passion towards you. It's the passion that's kind of driving them to, um, to act. They have to act. Okay, so now let's get your messages, your love messages from your person, something that they want to tell you right now. Give me a message from Taurus's person. What do they want to tell Taurus right now? I miss being with you. Hmm. I am in a committed relationship. So of course it's not going to resonate for all of you, but some of you, your person could be in a committed relationship. They could be not available. I should have been honest with you. I now see the damage as I regret lying to you. Okay. So Again, this is for some of you. I think for all of you, the person here misses you, obviously. For some of you, your person is in a relationship with someone else. I feel like these two go together. I should have been honest with you. I now see the damage as I regret lying to you. So this person could have lied to you about not being single. Um, either that or this could be what has transpired since you were with this person, that this person is now in a committed relationship. So with this energy here, I was telling you this person wants to take things to the next level with the page of pentacles. I still stand by that. I still stand by that this person does want to reconcile this relationship. I don't know exactly what this means for this relationship by looking at these cards. Obviously we have to dive deeper to figure out where this is headed. Um, in the extended, I am going to be pulling some cards for the thoughts and feelings of your person towards you. This is their wishes and their hopes, dreams. Um, and this is going to be more specific because there's going to be several cards that I'm pulling about that. I'm also going to look into what it is that you don't know. So maybe we would confirm if this person, if there is a third party that comes up, um, for some of you, obviously it's not going to resonate because for some of you, your person is not in a committed relationship. For some of you, you know, this could be very specific for some of you that are watching this, your person could be very well be in a committed relationship. And it's like they, to me, this feels like this person, um, wants to get this off of their chest that maybe they've been hiding this from you. Um, this could be what we saw with the high priestess that could have been something that was kind of secret something that was kind of hidden from you but we will look into that in the extended also we're going to look into the next actions and intentions of this person over the next four to six weeks i thank you so much for watching this reading taurus and i'll see you in the next one bye bye